Hey up everybody. Uh, I'm sat at a, I'm sat at a distance away from you because I don't want to spread any germs onto you. Um, I've evaded it for two years and I've finally succumbed to the dreaded COVID. Uh, so I feel a bit rough at the minute. I'm, uh, I'm all topped up with vaccines so hopefully it'll just be a, equivalent to a bad cold and a bad cough. So far anyway I've had it for three days. It might take a bit longer than normal this but I'm just knocking off my water tender that I'm doing. I've got that up to a rolling chassis. I've got the tank to do next but I'm taking a break from that. And uh, I've acquired this push bike here. And it's, it's like new this bike. It's an aluminium frame, Shimano gears. What I'm going to be doing is converting this into a electric bike like I did similar to my other bike that uh, I've done I did another video on that I think so just quickly then uh, to cut a long story short the story goes like this this was up at the skip at our local model engineering track ready to be thrown in into skip uh, the chap that owned it must have had a health problem and said to either a member a neighbour or a friend that, that goes up to track take that bike up to track if nobody wants it throw it in skip so anyway it's all aluminium and it's a, it's a really nice bike and it's pretty much like new so what I'm going to do then I'm, I've got I've got a second hand hub that I've had for a while just waiting for a bike to come along and here it is and I'm going to try and convert this electric bike for well, less than one hundred pound, and we're in ni we're in twenty twenty two. I nearly said nineteen twenty two. Then we're in twenty twenty two. I think COVID's uh, going to my brain. When I say a hundred pound, uh, that'll be excluding the battery because I'll be sharing the battery off my other bike onto this one as I need it. So watch this space then, and it might take me a bit longer this than normal because I'm uh, I'm a bit incapacitated at the moment, but I'll keep doing little bits to it as and when I can. Well two weeks have elapsed and uh, I thought I were going to continue with my bike and uh, Covid's knocked me sideways so uh, I've had to leave it for two weeks but anyway I'm, I'm back on it now and uh, while I've been waiting I've been gathering all my um, parts together so I've got my uh, controller, <clears throat> I've got a controller box, I've got my pedal assist sensor, I've got my thumb throttle and switch combined, I've got a battery base that matches my battery so I can swap my battery over on different bikes, reed switches to make some brake cut off switches and I've got a three speed switch so uh, my first job I want to check the wiring inside the hub, check the condition of the bearings and de determine where the hole sensor and phase wires come into the plug. OK then, because I have not got a wiring diagram for this hub, um, I've got this hub second hand. I've just took the end covers off, carefully, both sides, so that's the drive side where the sprocket goes and then the non-drive side under here where the, where the cable goes up the axle uh, the cable terminates here uh, you've got your three phase wires going to the windings on this side and then the whole sensors go through the central hub and come out on the top now that's, that's just particular to, to this hub, I don't know if they're, if they're all like that uh, but I would imagine they're all something similar and then on this side you've got your hole sensors you've got a red for positive, black for negative and then you've got your three yellow, blue and green signal wires Right. Just for me to be able to belt and brace this so I know exactly what wires are what, here's my plug. I don't know exactly um, what each of these connectors on this plug 
I don't know which wire they connect to. It, well, it does matter for the hall sensor. I want to be coupling up the full voltage to, to the signal part of the hall sensor because it's just going to blow them. So I'm going to use my multimeter and get to find out where all these connections do. Because all the wires that go to the hall sensors, they're all insulated. I can't find... Um, can't find a point where I can get my multimeter on. So I've got a very thin uh, sewing pin and I'm just going to stab into the, into the insulation carefully on each wire and then put my multimeter on to find out which wire is going to which part of this plug. There's an arrow on that plug so it can only fit into the other part of the plug one way. Do a sketch with the arrow is, put all the pins in. I'll just check my multimeter. And I'm just going to carefully, without much pressure, put the point of the pin into the red one. It'll be one of the thinner pins. That, there we are. So I'm looking at the plug as a, as a clock face. This red one is it 10 past so that's the negative in the center so I'll go on to the yellow so signal wire and then we'll have a look for that one yeah so the yellow one looking at the plug as a clock face is at 25 past on the small pin then the blue one the blue one is at quarter past the hour And then the green one there we are 25 to the hour. I'm just going to turn the wheel over and have a look at the phase wires on the other side then I'm going to put my covers back on a little bit of sealant round I know the blue, the green and the yellow is going to different phases but all the phases are connected in these windings so it don't ma it don't make no difference where where you touch on the thicker pins you're picking up the red green uh, sorry the blue green and yellow the phase wires don't don't really matter the reason being is uh, all you do with if the wheel's not running properly on the bike you just, um, there's a diagram, I'll try and dig it out from somewhere, I've got it somewhere. There's a diagram where you put these in different combinations on the controller. Uh, and you try different combinations until the wheel runs properly. It's just to get the phases uh, in uh, unison. I know where all my wires go to on the plug, I'm going to put the covers back on and then uh, go to the next step. I'm just going to put some Loctite plastic gasket on the lip of the cover. You could use uh, silicon sealant, but I've, I've not got any at the moment.